Oh, oh shoot, is that where I bit your lip last night? Dang girl. <laughs> Erica! Don't. That is domestic <laughs> violence, bro. <laughs> Alright, what's up, Lesby fam? fam. <laughs> <laughs> we are the Cruz family. We are part of the Lesby Moms crew, which includes the Galeais, the Lopez, and the Cardenas. So, we haven't done this in a while. We haven't sat down and, and talked to you um, and had a conversation about what's going on in our life. So, we thought we'd do that now. Uh, the other families previously touched on how they felt about not being a biological parent um, so we thought we'd touch on that today <laughs> our story is a little bit different than the other stories um, I am not the biological mother of Santana <laughs> so dramatic <girl. laughs> Um, our story is a little bit different considering we did reciprocal IVF, which basically means it was um, my egg in her oven. Is that how it's said? No, it's your bun in my oven. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Same <laughs> shit. Stuff. Um, but so she actually did get the experience of carrying Santana for the entire pregnancy, which was 41 weeks. So we went over and um, giving birth to her, which was no easy task. No. If you haven't watched that vlog, go back to last week's vlog. And the week before that, we did a two-part series on Santana's, what? Not last week, the week before that and the week before that. I mean, you can find Just it. Just go back. on the channel. You can find it on the channel. You can find our whole story on the channel of how we went about this. So, yeah, we're gonna touch today on on that subject since our experience is a little bit different. I carried Santana for nine months. Now, yes, technically I am not her biological mother. Um, and as of now, we only have had a month with her. So I can't really say or kind of touch base on what the other moms have experienced since they've had their kids longer. Um, you know, of their insecurity, insecurities, or whatnot um, but I will say that there is one insecurity of mine and so far that has been formula feeding and breastfeeding and the reason being is I'm not against formula feeding at all um, I think it's great I know there's a lot of mothers that can't breastfeed just are not either the flow didn't come or aren't able to um, but we've had this discussion lately where she's just like, why don't we just formula feed? Because my breast milk hasn't really been coming in as much. But, um, and the point is, my insecurity of not feeling a connection with, with Santana is by breastfeeding. So I want to continue to breastfeed as long as I can. And so I've been avoiding and I've been adamant that I do not want to formula feed my baby. And I'm scared that if we do introduce formula to her that she'll just want formula and that she'll leave my boob and there goes our connection. So I'm very, very scared of that. And so far I have not tried giving her formula. Um, but I know that my flow isn't as isn't as much as I'd like it to be and I think cause she's constantly on the boob because I I believe that my flow is in a lot uh, when I pump I pump both boobs and I only get about two max three and a half ounces out of both boobs when I pump for a good half an hour so that does worry me um, but I just really don't want to formula feed. I'm really scared. I'm really, really scared. I don't want her to not breastfeed with me. I'm, yeah. I didn't know that was so. an insecurity or that was 
what Dina felt was her connection to the baby until recently. Um, I'm not pushing for formula. I want her to breastfeed. I want our baby to be breastfed. It's just more nutrients that way, right? Um, I'm not pushing for it. It's just the fact that she's not producing. She's producing enough to, to feed her and to feed her well every day, but not to feed her and pump. So it basically means that we can't go anywhere or do anything. That means we can't go drinking or nothing. Because I You're can't pump and done. ratchet, bro. What? I, I missed it. Anyway, I wanna we can't do anything because she doesn't have enough milk. We don't have anything stored um, so that someone, our babysitter could feed her while we're gone. So that's that issue. That's the only reason why I push formula. But now that I know that it's a little bit of her insecurity because that's how she feels her connection to Santana, then obviously I wouldn't push it. But, yeah. you know, she's my kid. She looks exactly like me. Um, oh my God, so much. She is my twin. Obviously, I feel a connection to her, which even I was a little bit concerned about because I didn't carry her, I didn't give birth to her, so I didn't know how I'd feel when she came out. But I couldn't be more in love, you know? I couldn't be more hands-on, which I also didn't think I would be that way. I thought that, you know, I'd be afraid changing her or getting her dressed or burping her or whatever but it hasn't been an issue at all so a lot of people when we tell them how we went about this will just flat out say oh so basically she's your I'm surrogate, surrogate. <laughs> and i'm like no she's antenna's mom and they're just like well she doesn't have any of her dna so it's basically you're a kid and she's just giving birth to her. Yes, but she's not a stranger to Santana. She's not only did she carry her for nine months, she gave birth to her, but she's also going to be raising her. She's giving her nutrients by breastfeeding her. You know what I mean? Like, she has a role in Santana's life forever. Like, forever. I just felt like that's a little bit rude, a little bit inconsiderate. And offensive that someone just be like oh she's just a surrogate and there's been plenty of studies out there you know saying that a surrogate doesn't have any contributing factors other than carrying and housing the baby for nine months mm -hmm. we are aware of that we know what a surrogate is mm -hmm. um we know that Shh, don't say surrogate so much we know that the placenta works as a filter in a sense like if you're a big coffee drinker, you know that the filter is what keeps the beans from getting into your coffee, That's right? That's a great analogy. It's exactly what it is. <laughs> it's like it, the placenta keeps from DNA from Dina getting through to the baby and vice versa. But we all know that a filter isn't like perfect, right? It doesn't keep everything out. There might be a little bit of a grain that gets through. You know? Where are you going with this though? My point is is that we know how the biology of it works, but it is possible that there could be some shared DNA. What? Not, not enough to change the makeup of the baby. And since she's still her DNA, her blood runs through her body in the womb, mm -hmm. not Dina's. We know that, but it's not always a factor in raising a child. If you can't have kids and you adopt a child, are you gonna say that that child is not yours because it doesn't carry any of your DNA? It's just, you know, it's just, it's not right. So, in that sense, good morning. Good morning, Prince Pesa. Prince Pesa. Hi, my little Santana baby. <laughs> Woo! Oh my, <laughs> look how sweaty look she at is. <laughs> Damn, Brody, your hair is curly. You're so sweaty. Oh, dang, bro. We talking about you. You sweaty girl. Ooh. Ooh. 
Ooh. Is that fluid? No. She's just burping. a burping. Just a burping. Tell him, baby. Tell him, how dare you say this isn't my mama? So, look at her. Overall, yes, I am not the biological mother, but she ain't never gonna know that or feel that, okay? Because she is much, just as much my baby as she is Erica's. My family doesn't see her any different. They love her so much. My mom is so in love with her. Uh, my dad, everybody, her family's in love with her. Like, there's just no, it's not a factor, you know? Like, okay, we want to get scientific about it, sure. That's your biological mom. I'm not, but I'm probably cooler than she is, so. That's for We're sure. even. We're good. She is our kid. Um, and so, so far, like I said, that's my only insecurity is not being able to breastfeed her. Uh, other than that, I guess we'll see as life goes on, you know? We don't have much, we haven't had much time with her. It's all about how you raise the so, kid, how you love the kid. That's how I feel like she's, she's going to know how she was made. She's going to know. Well, I mean, we're not going to keep anything from her. You know what I mean? She's going to know it all. So look at that. That's my mama. Your breast stinks. Yeah, you right. Dying. I just had chocolate and I brushed my teeth. What the hell? <laughs> here, here, girl. Here, girl. Don't make us look bad. Oh, my God. Say, so what the fuck? Mommy, I don't want it. Hey, little mama. How you doing? Dang. Oh, shit. Hey, you can't be crying on TV. Look it. You're making us look bad. You're embarrassing us, Santana. Good. <laughs> Anyways, that's how we feeling about the whole situation. Yeah, so far so good, guys. We're loving it. Thank you all for your, um, you know, your love. We get a lot of love on Instagram and on Facebook. Um, all of our friends, all of you guys, you know, all the followers that congratulated us, all of the followers, sent us gifts, like our friends, y'all, real ones, man. For real, y'all, y'all are our family. For real, let's be family, just nothing. We really are a big community. We are a family. There's Santana has so many cousins and so many same sex um, family friends that we have, and they're all gonna grow up together, and knowing each other, and. It's the whole just, point of this channel is to educate people. That's all we're trying to do. There's, there's no anger. There's no, no anything like that. Like yeah. it's, it's all love, man. We just want people to realize that you know, we love each other. We love each other, and we're just trying to live. Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't, if this is your first video, go ahead and watch. All the rest of our videos um we'll be back next week and don't forget to like comment and subscribe